Hey, Chef Duke here. I'm gonna show you one of my award-winning pasta dishes. It's very, very simple. Kiss, keep it simple, stupid. That's one of my things I go by. You wanna get the true, true feeling. Louisiana shrimp, pasta gambino. It's been on my menu for many, many years, almost 18. It's one of the people's favorites here. I'm gonna show you how to make it. It's very simple and it's very fast. So stay tuned, because I'm gonna show you how to do it. First off, you gotta get your saute pan. We're gonna heat it up. Then we're gonna use a nice olive oil and canola blend. Not a lot of oil, just enough to coat the bottom. We're gonna get that hot. If you wanna put your pan on and get it hotter early, so it's very hot, hot pan, that's what we're gonna do. Fresh garlic, that's chopped. Now, you're gonna put that garlic in, you just wanna make sure that you don't burn it, because then it's gonna turn bitter on you. You're gonna get it this way you want. Then we're gonna add our tri-color peppers. Remember, you saw our, our, our garlic just getting light brown. Then we're gonna add our tomatoes. Fresh basil. We're gonna give it a little saute. Ah, look at that. That's a hot pan. That's the only way we like to cook, chefs. We're gonna add some pimentos. Green onions. And what makes it the best, Louisiana shrimp. Now I'm using a peeled shrimp, but you could use anything else that you want. You could use chicken in this dish, too. As we saute, we let everything get hot. Everything's starting to, to work together. Also, what's great about this pasta, it's full of color, so it looks great. Now, if you don't want to use shrimp, put crab meat in it. Put anything you want in this dish. Chicken, it, it, there's no end to it. But with the peppers, now what I'm gonna do is add my sun-dried tomatoes. And I'm gonna play with it a little while so I can get those tomatoes to rehydrate. Because those are dehydrated, that's why they're sun-dried. Then what we're we gonna do, a nice uh, bottle of white wine. You want something that you'll drink, but not expensive. So something that you still drink that tastes good. You don't want to put anything in your food that doesn't taste good. So a nice, you're going to deglaze that. Then the, the cream. Then what I'm going to do is I'm going to let this reduce a little bit, let it all mix up. You're gonna get that great smell of garlic. And as we're gonna see, you're gonna see it start to, to deglaze and just reduce down with that white wine. All these flavors are gonna start coming out. Then I'm gonna take a little bit of lemon pepper, a little bit of Creole seasoning. Everything's coming in. Look at that. Gonna let that reduce. And then I use penny pasta with this dish. I like the way that the sauce fills the little penny pastas. I've already cooked them off. Now al dente, when you cook off pasta, you can take it, cook it, shock it with fresh water, and just a little bit of canola oil to it. Make sure it's not overpowered. You don't want it, the sauce not to stick to it. But this is where it's ready to go. get heated up, better read. Remember, sauce with pasta is just an additive. You don't want it soaking in sauce. You don't want the sauce to be running off the plate. It should just complement the pasta. And that, my friends, is Pasta Gambino, Kiss Style. Keep it simple, stupid. I love you, you love me, eat. It's a beautiful thing.